Hello, my friends. Let's see comments. Hi, my nose. Okay, now notification is out. That also takes a little bit of time there. So, welcome, welcome. How are you doing, guys? Let me get Instagram a little over. So, there you go. That's better. Hi, Solly. Hey, girl. So, guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen Helden. Um, I'm a premier retailer for Dixiebel over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So, good evening to you guys. When you join me, just let me know where you're watching from and say hi to me. Hi, Dixiebel. Thank you for having me. So, um, tonight I wanted to show you um, what you can do. If you if you use the new decoupage from uh, Dixieville, they are cheats, and there is just like a, a little gap left. You know, obviously you can. Hallo, liebe Anja, schön, dass du da bist. Hi, Jill. Obviously you can. Um, you know, you can uh, cut a little bit of the paper and attach uh, attach it to the edges because it is a repeating pattern. You can do that, but um, as this is just like a, you can see, it's just like this white tiny white uh, area around those frames at the bottom here also or basically it's the sides you know if i put it this way the door is this way so um you can blend it in with paint and i decided to hi leona hi yvonne i decided hello i decided to um frame it out with some woody band so and uh, i'm using a trim from woody band and it's the tr009 which is this beautiful one. You can see Instagram. It's very, very pretty. And it's from the bits just about that it's going to fit into those edges. I'm going to bring you a little closer and I'm going to um, turn you down that you can see what I can, what I'm doing. Um, first, I'm going to cut it. The nice thing about those woody bands, if you want to uh, shop those, Dixiebel has got those also on their page and uh, the Dixiebel retailers also carry those. So I'm going to bring you, as I said, a little closer and tilt you down so you can see what I am doing because I'm first going to cut it down to size Instagram. I'm just going to cut it down to size. I'm going to twist it that way let's see there you go i think now you should be pretty pretty fine okay um when they are cold like it is now they are you can hear pretty solid you know when you warm them up they get nice and bendy and then you can you can cut them and you can shape them around any any edge i'm first going to to cut it so um Oh, thank you, Yvonne. That's sweet. And guys, if you are having any questions, just put them in the... Hi, Wendy. Oh, hi to the UK. Just put them in the comments and uh, I will see I can answer them straight away. Otherwise, I will come back later. So you can heat those up with a heat gun. You can heat them up with a hair dryer or an embossing gun, which is uh, a lot of safer. And I know what I'm talking about. I've got a heat gun because it goes a little quicker, but um, as you know, I'm the master of disaster. So hang on guys. I'm going to heat that up and show you how bendy that gets. They come in a coil, as you can just see. So they're easier to handle. So now I can unroll it nicely. So, and Instagram, yeah. So and I'm going to lay that out. I'm going to cut it from, or basically lay that out from one side to the next. I'm going to push that right into that corner here, make a little crease. So I know where to cut it. You use a sharp knife or some scissors for it. I've got this knife, so I'm just going to cut that in that corner. 
just like this and obviously you can do that with everything you can um so i'm gonna put the rest up into a coil again so it's easier hello Ulrike. hi abigail hi cynthia hi kathy a lot of people that that's great it's easier to store them this way and to handle them this way instead of like rolling them out then they are pretty pretty fighting you so put that to the side and as I, you know, you're wondering why you're only putting one piece, cutting one piece. I've already prepared the other pieces. I just wanted to show you quickly how I measured that and how I cut it. You know, I've measured that from one side to the other um, about the frame I want to make. And um, now I want to paint it. You can paint the woody bands before you apply them. You can paint them um, after you apply them. You can paint them with with, um, with the chalk mineral paints, with the silk range. You can paint them, or you can even stain them with the um, with the uh, uh, voodoo gel stain or the uh, no paint gel stain. Hi Liz, um, hi Benedetta, thank you. So. Um, just any any paint you can think of, you can use them in because they they basically just behave like wood, you know, they are porous. So I'm going to paint them in advance. Um, and uh, the paint, the only um, thing the paint should be is flexible because uh, when you eventually, you know, shape those around the bottle or whatever are some edges. If this, it's already cooled down again, you know, they need about the same time to cool down, like they need to to warm up. So this is already stiff again, so I don't want to break it, but you could shape it around this bottle also. But obviously when you paint that beforehand, you should, uh, you've got to use some flexible paint. And this is the reason the Dixieville paints go just beautifully with the, uh, with those um, molds because it is a flexible paint. So the color I've chosen is um, fluff because fluff is pretty much the like the white in the in that uh, decoupage and the decoupage is the guys I don't have the new names all in my head. It's the floral. Blah 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 blah. Maybe you can help me out there. Whoever got it um ah oh, there it is that's the decoupage i've used on there it's the colorful floral it's the one of the new decoupage from dixie bell you know those um, silk papers absolutely gorgeous and easy to work with so i'm painting as i said the trim before i apply it because i don't want to mess on my you know with the colors underneath so that's the reason i do that beforehand and um, I'm using the French tip brush uh, for painting for painting it because it goes nicely into those crevices. I also got my Mr. Bottle um, just to help uh, the paint um, move a little easier into those crevices, especially when you have uh, those um, woody band moldings they come in loads of you know you've got to check it on the dixie bell page they have loads of uh, of uh, woody bands there so i'm just going to wet that a little bit first um chalk mineral paints by dixie bell voc free uh, water based mix them nicely up beforehand i've just done that so i'm not doing it uh, now because i've just painted the other bits so um um, either shake them up or mix them up with a, with a stick or something like that. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of paint and I'm going over that wood you bend in a swirly motion to get the fluff nicely in all those beautiful details of that trim. And you can already see that that covers pretty nicely. So, and that little bit of water just helps the paint um, flow a little easier into all those details. So in combination with the French tip brush, it's an easy, easy peasy um, way of doing it. So this is just one coat. This just shows again how amazing how amazing those chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell are, you know, so the coverage is really, really nice. 
So I'm going to put that just down to um, dry on my krill. So those are the bits I've already had painted. First coat, that's the, the first coat. I mean, one coat is basically almost enough. I'm just going to go quickly over it with a second coat. Paper here. Again, just uh, sprayed a little bit. Also that Mr. Bottle you can get by Dixieville. And your Dixieville um, retailers, they all have those products. So um, apart from the baby wipes, my best friend for crafting are is my Mr. Bottle and all my baby wipes. So, um, but uh, I'm not selling baby wipes. I need them all for myself. Just gonna go a little bit around this edge here. And that's it. I'm not bothering about the ends because they're going to be cut in a minute again. So that's the smaller frame. Okay, this is not really warmed up. Warmed a little up to swirl it. So who has used the wood events before? Hi Beth. can see how easy you can unroll that again spray it a little bit and over here so if you want to blend the um, the mold into the rest of the of your piece you apply it first and then you paint it and as I don't want to blend it in, the frame outside is going to stay in that in our custom green mix we made, which was a mix of evergreen and daisy, um, each one part. So I'm gonna roll that up again because it's too long for my floor. You know, when you roll it up like this, they are much easier to handle. So, that painted. That one. It has, yeah. It's too loud, I can't scream. Just soften it up. It has cooled right down here again. The winter came back. I mean, it's like uh, Easter weekend, we just have behind us but um, in a lot of areas is snow even here in Frankfurt we had uh, sprinkles of snow today so it is freezing cold it is cold inside here also this is uh, even I'm wearing a t-shirt <laughs> I'm still wearing I don't know if you can see at the bottom I'm still wearing my my moon boots my um, apple boots sorry nice and warm because it is Cool. So that is back into the coil. So that's cool. And now I'm going to paint. This is the, the one we've uh, just done the first coat. I'm going to do the second coat on there also. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Sometimes an extra hand would come really easy. So, um, but um, if you keep, especially the trims in a coil, and I'm going to show you now how I apply it it is a lot easier so work in sections also when you add those trims onto a dresser or something like that work in sections and that really helps a lot so there's this prepared all painted i'm just going to clean 
the top here. So I'm trying to get better, guys. Um, you know, my first lives I was like banging around and trying to open those tins or those jars and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get better. Yeah? I'm trying not to to be that messy. <laughs> I'm doing my best. However, might get a little boring. So also um, those chalk mineral paints, they dry really, really quick. So I would always recommend, um, oh, thank you, Bess. Um, they dry really, really quick. If you, you know, either wrap your brushes if you don't need them straight away afterwards in a baby wipe and put them in a plastic bag. I'll put them in a jar of water. This is what I'm doing now because I'm probably not gonna need it anymore. Um, because when it's dried in there, those paints, they, you know, they really, they really hold well. So now I'm going to get, um, I'm just going to cover that up because, uh, that door is basically, I'm trying to clean my fingers, otherwise it's white all over my already painted, um, painted door. It's actually inside of the door. I'm quickly just going to show you the outside. Um, we've used a silk screen stencils on that, and um, so that's the outside. That's the outside of the door. We've used the silk screen stencils on that, and on the inside now, there's like this little bit of bam. We having this green. So let's get going. Um, the paint should be, because I've dried it now, should be pretty, pretty dry. So I'm going to start to apply um, the trim now. So for applying them, whatever surface you put in, put in them onto, uh, you can always use wood glue, you know, whatever. If it's glass, if it's metal, if it's... Um, if it's uh, uh, wood, you always use wood glue. So I'm just working a little out here. And I'm just using a brush to, I'm not worried if there might be a little squeezing out on the sides because um, I'm using a brush which is about pretty much the width of the, of that trim. And I'll wipe it on here. Wood glue is water-based also. So, you know, whatever squeezes out on the side, I can take off with a baby wipe or a wet cloth or a wet brush. So still, I wanna have enough on here. So that holds onto it pretty well. So first part on. So now I'm going to come in because that's already cooled down. I'm going to come in with my heat gun. Make that nice and soft. And I'm going to squeeze that on there. So you can also see, can you see? Oops. Up. If the, you can stretch it also a little bit, you know, if you cut it a little short, you can stretch it a little bit that it uh, touches the ends at the end, <laughs> the ends at the end. Well, my English sometimes, guys, after all, I'm German. Hi, Brandy. Thank you. Mm. Anja, I fixed the decoupage with the top coat satin by Dixie Bell. I just put like a coat of the top coat satin on there and then I've applied the um, decoupage on there and uh, yeah and uh, put another coat of the satin on top so that's the first one now I'm going to be I want to have like an angle but therefore I'm going to overlap them first so I'm gonna make that warm Yeah. So 
one. Let's see. Spread that out. That was a bit too much. That was a bit too much, guys. I can use it on the side here. I'm going to go around here. That was very generous. That's me. That's me. I'm going to go quickly around anyway. So, let's see. Every excess I'm going to take off as a baby wipe in a second. But that was far too much. Far too much, Mrs. Bailey, as per usual. So, okay. This is warmed up. I'm going to, hang on, this way around. Overlap the edge here. So, push that down. And especially this edge here, I'm going to warm that up again. nice and soft why not to bubble my paint <laughs> and then I'm gonna come in with my knife and I'm cutting in an angle as this is now nice and soft just to get this corner bit basically so get this off lift that up a little bit and get the edge underneath off also and then this piece fits perfectly in this edge here. So you've got a nice, nice frame. So you see that? That's basically one edge done. Can warm that up again and push it a bit closer together. Put a little bit of a bubble of paint on there just to just to um, have that uh, fix basically the cut you made. So I'm gonna take off some of the excess glue, which has been squeezing out here. Just this baby wipe to have this area clean. So, and I'm just reheating that now because I want to push that nicely down. You can see there's like some more glue squeezing out, which is a nice, the good sign basically that um, it's getting good contact with the, with the surface underneath. And if you work in sections, it's the easiest way. Step down, step down, take off the excess glue. Whenever you feel, you know, it stiffens up on you, um, you just basically um, heat that back up and um, look how pretty that looks already. So I have a nice frame and um, another short bit. Uh, my hair in the glue, oh, as per usual. So I'll try to have got the right way around. There's enough glue down here. Same thing, basically. Same thing. Put that down here first. Let's glue out of the way. Can you see everything I do on Instagram also? Heat this corner back up. So it's nice and uh, friendly. And then I'm gonna cut right into, into this corner here. Make sure your knife is um, it's a sharp knife, it makes life easier. So match off, lift that slightly up. And get that bottom part off also. And now you can attach those edges together. Second edge done. Heat that quickly up again. So, second 
match done. Now we're gonna come the last big one. I'm gonna put some more glue on here. Make sure I'm not using that much glue like I just did. Just spread it out. Just make sure you have like a generous amount of glue all over the surface. You know, don't put just like uh, a couple of uh, drops on here and uh, expect your moldings to hold to that. Just spread it out on the whole surface. You can, you know, when you have, um, when I use the trims, I put it on the project, the glue. When I um, use the ornaments, I usually put it on the ornament because they are, you know, pretty um, detailed and stuff like that. So um, that's um, easier that way. Otherwise you have too much glue on your, on your project. Because with the trims, it works beautifully this way. And the trims are a little easier to handle also. So last one to come now. Just want to make sure it's nice and bendy. Roll it out, put it on here. So and you know, even you know it's rolled up pretty pretty tight in this coil. The paint is not cracking. And this is the reason the Dixieville paint is so so good basically with the the molds those would you bend moldings because it's a flexible paint you know i mean you could paint over it at the end but uh, it, it just makes your life easier so same thing so this is a little short here i'm going to stretch that first we're going to go right up to the end with that so i'm going to lift that up a little I'm going to stretch that right into that corner. There we go. You can do that for a couple of millimeters. Obviously not if you're like five centimeters short or an inch. Um, that uh, won't really work. But a couple of millimeters, you can, you can basically stretch those. Same thing. When it's nice and warm, you come in with a sharp knife. Cut it through. I know my followers are always very worried when I'm using sharp tools, dangerous tools, as I'm sometimes a little clumsy. So I'll be a bit careful. I can feel that already stiffening up. So I'm just taking the edge underneath off and bring that up again, put that together. And then you can basically come can come back with a little a little dot of paint and just um, paint it up touch that up those, those areas so same thing up here i'm gonna make my way up now make sure it's got good contact everywhere especially make sure that you push down, you know, those edges where it's supposed to touch. So, just nice and warm. Wait a second, the frame down. So. Top one. Sure, I'm cutting through the bottom one also. Lift that up, get this edge on the knees out, that's it, push it back down, and then we have nicely done our frame all around, all around that, um, all around that uh, inside of that piece. Those little bits and pieces I'm going to keep. You never know, there might be a project where you just need like a tiny little bit um, to, you just need like a, a tiny little bit to whatever, um, 
to cover something up or if you, you know, you can also always use those. So you can also reuse those. So you see that? Now we have a nice little frame, frame that out. It looks pretty gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take the excess glue off. Just to the side. So I have a zip of copy and I just check for some questions. Yeah, some questions, questions. And then we are going to use the chameleon waxes. Mm. Uh, lunchbox lady, I was hoping you were going to keep them. What do you mean I was going to keep them? Those uh, edges, you know, uh, the bits I cut off, I'm keeping them. That's what I just said. So, um, um, hi, Nina. Thank you, Dixie Bell. Um, Thank you, Liz. Yeah, I try, you know, to, to give you ideas, you know, and to, to show you different things. So, uh, and obviously what I've done here, you can do that to any picture frame or whatever, you know, if you have a boring picture frame, just um, slap uh, one of those uh, trims on there. And there you go. So, uh, comments. Okay. Hmm. Okay, if I miss any questions, guys, I will pop them later. So the reason I've chosen, I didn't want to have too much of a contrast on the inside. I have the frame on the outside with the um, with the custom green. So I'm just going to touch up those those areas. So I'm going to need my my French tip again. Add a little water. That's fine just where I cut it, those areas, again, just touch that up, there I've cut, so, go, and then I'm gonna come in, the chameleon waxes. Pretty new by Dixieville. I mean, pretty new. It's always new because at the moment it takes ages to come here to to Europe. Um, so, okay. I'm trying to close my jaw straight away. Not making a mess. You know me. I keep dropping things. So. So, yeah, you know, me dropping things. Just closing the glue. It's not supposed to go into the water. I wasn't sure if I was going to use the, um, the mousse or the uh, chameleon waxes, but I think the chameleon waxes are going to look quite nice on there. The, um, just gonna dry that little dash of paint I put on there. So, um, the chameleon waxes, they come in three colors. They come in, in apricot, in lilac, and in cactus. So those are basically all three colors. I think they're all in those, um, in the, um, in that uh, decoupage paper. So I'm probably ending up using all of them. And the reason they are called, um, they are called chameleon. What a chameleon does, it, um, it uh, um, adapts itself to its uh, underground. So it's uh, body color. 
So, um, sent me a message. What happened? Mm. What happened? Why did you just send a message? So, I mean, those tints are gorgeous. I just like tiny, tiny little um, paint tints, basically. So, and you know, this is basically what those um, chameleon waxes are doing. They are adapting themselves to the underground, to the, you know, the color which is underneath. So I'm just going to show you because now you're going to see probably the difference. I've used them on, on our globe. This is also a mixture of the, um, of the chameleon waxes on here. So um, they are all three on there and this is on a dark color and they appear different on a light color. So I'm just going to use an artist brush for that. And you can use the fingers. You can basically dip your fingers in there. This is the, the apricot, for example, I'm starting with. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just, um, and, and this is going to be ever so, so soft, just like a little, little shine, not much. Let's see, that's the apricot, which you can hardly see on here. I don't know if this is going to be enough for me. I need, I need a little bit of bang and this is too bright. This is far too bright. Let's see what the cactus does. Let's see what the cactus does. Cactus is just like a little bit of greenish. No, guys, this is not going to do it for me. This is, it's lovely for me on a dark surface, but it's, 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 you know, this is just like a, a slight, a slight hint, which is beautiful, but it's not what I'm going for. So I'm going to use the mousses all back. They are all based. Um, so, um, but still when they're just applied, you can just like wipe them off. So that should be fine. Okay. So, not today, sorry guys, not today. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use the mousses. So, but the, the mousses now, they are water-based. And let's see if I'm only going to use the gun and if I'm going to mix it. I have to, I think I'm going to use it like that. this is the garnet and I think I'm going to mix it as a serve. I'm not quite sure. Yet. So the mousses are water-based. That's the reason you should mix them up really, really well, you know, so that all the ingredients are really mixed. So, ah, okay, Michelle. Okay. I hope she's well. So, mm. <laughs> new phone. So, and you can mix them with each other. So, if you want to tone tone that a little down, I've got just like a little a little jar here, and just gonna put in there and I'm doing the same thing with the silver as this is a little too bright for me I think this is a little too bright for me same thing you see bright silver it's called the diamond the red is the garnet and the silver is the diamond again you know they are water-based so mix them up nicely they've got no VOCs in them they need a little longer to, to dry then obviously, but uh, they're absolutely lovely and shiny. So, just a tiny little bit. Put that together in the jar. And I wanna have a little bit more of a, 
rosy color and not so much ready reddish reddish so you can see the difference now it's a lovely rose i like that i like that a lot so i'm gonna use up the rest of that red on here also it nicely in here just on this little spatula here and this is basically how you can make your own colors also you know with those um with those mousses so i'm gonna show you the difference this is the color we just mixed and this is the the color um this is the garnet oh careful it's dripping out there that's the garnet so this is a right toned down now so again trying to close those before i drop everything there we go so now i'm gonna apply that with um, almost the, i don't want i just want to hit like the high spots of um of the um <laughs> Dixie Bell, I'm keeping you busy, don't I? <laughs> don't I? So, and now I'm just gonna go um, in an in an uh, deep angle, steep angle over those details of the of that uh, trim to just hit basically those high spots. To yes, that's what I want to have now we are getting close to what i do want to have so as i've mixed this in this little jar i can keep that uh, a couple of uh, days even weeks i've done for the um i've done for the silk screen stencil on the front also a mix where i mixed the, the um diamond mousse with uh, some of the silk black sands to tone it a little down and now i've basically mixed the uh, two colors of the mousse together so and i'm just gently touching the high spots just to give like that trim a little bit of interest you don't need much of the product it's very 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 rich and I keep it in a, as you can see, I keep the brush in a very steep angle, you know, I'm not going down like this. I'm very on an angle and I'm just like dragging it over the, over the surface gently. You know, I like to say butterfly kisses when I'm blending. Also when I do dry brushing, it's also butterfly kisses, not hard touching, just very gentle. And this is gorgeous. That's exactly how I like to have it. So, and even if you have like an area where you think you have too much on there, as this is water-based, you can just like basically take a little off also. That's pretty. It's a pretty, pretty color, I think. What do you think? Do you like that? Am I seeing some hearts, guys? So, um, there you go. There we go. Okay, I think 45 minutes, that's about it. So you can do that basically to the stage you like it. A little less or more. It's basically pretty much what I think I want to have. Okay. 
and it is very rich. So um, there is an area I'm not quite happy with. This is just too much for me on there. So I'm just going to come for a baby wipe, take it off a little. And gently come back. That's it. So that's that frame we just made. So guys, and again, you know, um, it's not always what you have in mind. Um, it's going to work out the way you want to have it. I change my mind a lot. So hello Vera. Hi Patricia. So let's see that you can see me now. I'll a lot to you. Oh my back guys. Oh, I'm all wonky now. <laughs> so not only me, everything is wonky. So basically so you can see. This is our custom mix of the, and there's like basically that gap of the, um, of the missing decoupage covered. You didn't have to cut up another sheet and it adds even more interest to the whole, to the whole door basically. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm just gonna check quickly. I'm trying to drop everything for some questions. Um, I just come around. Mm, thank you, Jill. Hi, Susan. Oops. Uh. <clears throat> exactly, Nina. Yes. Um, I see da, 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 da. kind of glue. Eva, I used regular wood glue. You can use any wood glue of a good quality. So uh, Dixiebel also got, uh, I think Dixiebel sells the tight bond with the, the wood you bend, so you can get that there also. Yes, Ivana, I have the violet. It's beautiful. So thank you, Jill. The custom green. <laughs> what cover? Wonder Walker. Yes, water. Okay. Mm. Okay, guys, I can't see any questions at the moment, so I'm going to go through later and uh, if there are any questions. Uh, otherwise, you can also shoot me a PM, you know, if you watch the replay um, and you want to make sure I get, uh, I get the question, just to either tag me or shoot me a PM. So that will be fine. Guys, thank you so much for being with me tonight. Uh, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a primary retailer for Dixiebel over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So it is almost 10 p.m. over here. So wherever you are, I'm wishing you a great day, morning, afternoon, night, uh, whatever. If you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page and leave me a like there. That'll be absolutely fantastic. And uh, you guys stay safe. If you want to shop the products, pop to the Dixiebel page and check for your local retailer. Um, every one of us needs it. So always, uh, grab the one close to you. So, um, he can help you the best. They can help you the best. So sweet guys. Thank you for being with me. Bye bye for now. Oh. Bye. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs>